Alright, so good evening. Hi guys. Good evening. Hello, people. Good evening. How are you? Is it rainy uh, where you live, guys? No, for the moment it's it was raining. It was raining a couple of moments. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's raining here. Oh, okay. It, here? I think it's still raining, but it was raining. Like, it has been raining the whole day, actually. So, the weather is very cloudy. How are you guys? How was your day? England, how was your day? It was uh, good. Pretty good. good. Okay. Yes. Okay, excellent. What did you do today, Ingrid? Um, I was um watching the video of the class and checking some things from yesterday. Mm -hmm. Okay, amazing. What about your day, Ismael? How was your day? Uh, very good. What did you do today? Uh, I was in my in my house. Okay, and what did you yeah. do in your house? Did you eat? Did you take a shower? Do you drink water, coffee? What did you do in your house? Uh, I drink, I drink soda in the afternoon. Okay, I drank, I drank. Uh, I drank, I drank. Drank soda. soda in the afternoon. Okay, yeah. excellent. Uh, what about your day, Catherine? You did. How was your day today? I was in my classes every day, every, every, Sí, ¿verdad? Every day. No, 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 no. Yeah. All day, all day, all day, all day, all day. All day. In your sí. university classes? Uh, no, it's a co un curso. Oh, it's a course. Okay, okay. What is the course about? Uh, drive. Oh, interesting. Very good. Yes. Is everything good with the course, with the driving lessons? I'm sorry, is everything good in the with the driving lessons? Mm, no. No. I don't understand. Con las clases. Um is uh bored? Yeah, a little bit. Because, I got to be careful. Because I I read read everything. Read. I read books. Okay. Yeah, I understand. That might be boring. Okay. Thank you, Catherine. Uh, Walter, what about your day? How was your day? What did you do? In my case, uh, today I was run in the university stadium, but um, it came to rain. So I stopped and waiting to train uh, disappear. And after I was go back to my home. I was going back. I was going, sorry, I was going to my home. But um, I have a problem because uh, I felt and oh hurt my, my knee, <laughs> my right knee. Did you hurt your, your knee? Yes, in my oh. right knee. But oh. after all, it's, not, a, it's not a big no, deal. It's nothing. No, thanks. Oh, well, it's okay. nothing. Okay. Okay. Well, thanks, Pat. Thank you, Walter. What about Ether? How was your day? What do you do today, Ether? Today? Yes. What do you do? Um, okay. Uh, my friends and I uh, were. We're chatting about our plans. Uh, God uh, will destroy it. Will destroy um, our plans. Uh, 
he when he sees uh, that all plants uh, uh, are uh, como decir, este, are going to destroy us. Oh, sí, sí. oh, yeah. Uh, I, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> okay. When things happen, it's because they are convenient for us. And when things don't happen, it's because they are not convenient for us. So whatever the plan was, just like, um, go, go with it. Okay. Okay. All right. I hope you feel better, eh, Danny. Eh, Catherine, Elizabeth, what about your day? How was your day today? Um, my day was okay. <laughs> and I was with my classmate in the, at the university. And I ate chicken with rice in my lunch and I drank I drank and water because no but I like water. <laughs> I mean, it's healthy. Very, very healthy. Yes. Drink water. Yes. yes. And in the afternoon I did my homework of English and mathematics. Okay. And after that I can to my house. I came to my house. I came to my house and finally I am in my English class. <laughs> okay, okay, excellent. Very good, Catherine. Hey, Ale, what about you? How was your day and what do you do? Hello, teacher. My day Hi. was difficult, very difficult. What happened today? Uh, I went out. Uh-huh. Um I wet in oh, the rain. I got wet. I got wet. I, I got wet. Uh it was raining very hard in yeah. in San Miguelito. Oh, okay. And yes. what did you do? Did you buy something in San Miguelito? Yes, by the the courage. The decorations yes okay um i party? no is recuerdo de boda oh a wedding souvenirs i think yeah wedding souvenirs yes are you getting married my no my <laughs> friend my best friend is oh, okay is wedding the is getting la, married the, is getting married the next saturday Oh, okay. Yes. Um, I came home very well. Oh my God! Did you, and actually, you have been sick, right? I hope that yes. you, don't get, you don't get worse. The last the last week. Uh huh. <laughs> okay, okay. I hope you don't get sick again because it's very uh delicate when you're sick and you get wet. So take pills. Take uh some rest. Make sure you are you're wearing like I don't know a sweater or something so you don't get the cold. Okay. Yes, okay. Teacher. Okay, my friends. Very good. Let's start with the presentations. Um, let the head I yet. I don't remember. No, sí. Yes, teacher. Unas preguntas que dijo que las haría al principio de la clase. All right. Entonces, let's go with the questions. ¿Cuáles eran las preguntas? What were the questions? Let me see the chat. Hold on. Um, five sentences. No, pero eso fue lo del, lo del past continuous. Oh, sí, esta era, ¿verdad? Okay, I see it. All right. Um, well, tell me, guys. Let's answer the questions in uh, everybody. Who can tell me how was the weather this morning? How was the weather this morning? Me, teacher. Uh-huh. Yes, the weather uh, was? Uh, when? It this morning down with beautiful a bright sun, but it was uh, too hot. When at 12 o'clock noon, it was clouding and raining heavily. Where do you live, Walter? In, in San Salvador, in the capital. 
Oh, really? Because, I mean, I live yes. in San Salvador, but the whole day, yes. no sun at all. Just yes. rain and, and rain and rain. In my case, I live um, near the volcano. Oh, uh, the volcano. The clouds, the, the clouds is more near my house. So, in my in my house, in, in winter, uh, raining much, raining much, pardon. Rain I, much. It's been raining um, all day. At least here yeah. where I live. Yes, for example, now it's raining today. <laughs> yeah, I think it's raining in my house. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's raining. It's raining a little yeah. bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, yeah. Um, Mr. Carlos, tell us what were you doing yesterday at 8 p.m.? Uh, please, I don't hear, sorry. Oh, what were you doing yesterday at 8 p.m.? And, uh, um, and the first, and I, I was came at, at, at my home. I was coming. I was coming. I was coming. Uh -huh. I was coming at my home, and then and uh, take a shower, and. Um, I was reading, I was reading a poem book, the okay. poem book, and uh, also, and uh, I was, uh, I was eating. What I did you eat? eat? What? What did you eat? Um, pupusas. Ah, delicious uh -huh. pupusas. pupusas. And I, uh, I took, uh, I took a uh, cup the coffee. Oh, okay, okay. Uh -huh. I took, I took. I took, uh huh, and took, uh huh, and and then and uh, uh and and consideration. Oh. Uh, I, I, I prepare, I prepare my class, my classes. I, I I was I was preparing I was preparing I was preparing my classes. Okay. And I then have a, I have a question. Uh, what level do you teach in the school? Um, and different grades because the the first grade and and the second grade in the morning. Oh, okay. In the afternoon, in the afternoon, and um, uh, and uh, seven and sixth grade, seventh grade, and ninth grade, and oh. I teach, uh, uh, I teach him, I was teaching, um, different subjects. Okay. Uh, uh, what subjects do you teach at school? Um, my specialty and uh, um, history. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. History and science sciences. Oh, okay. Sciences and and only that in the morning the for the subjects. All of the subjects. Uh huh. Oh. In the morning. Uh -huh. okay. 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 Yeah, because when you work with kids, well, like with first grade, second grade, you have to teach them everything, right? All the subjects. Ah, uh, okay. Uh -huh. And do you do you prefer working with kids or with teenagers? Ah, uh, with kids is I love it. Ajá. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Muy burro son los adolescentes, ¿verdad? <laughs> mm, I don't believe because the because the eh uh, ¿cómo se dice? Hay que tener paciencia. You have to be patient. Uh -huh. You have to be you, patient. You be have you be have you have you uh, have to be. Uh, you have to be. Yes, you have to be, like I said. You uh, have to be patient. Uh-huh. Okay. Only that. Okay. Okay. Very good. All right. Thank you, Mr. Carlos. Uh let's go with the next question. Um so Catherine Elizabeth, tell me what were you doing before your English class? Uh, I was talk 
I was taking a nap because I was very tired for, from university and I also was playing with my dog because she needed love. <laughs> okay, okay. What is your dog's name? Perla. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, good. Um, what about you, Ingrid? What were you doing before the class? Before the class, I was cooking. Uh, I cooked um, chicken and rice with base, vegetable. Okay, for dinner? And then, yes. Oh, okay. Okay. For dinner. Very mm -hmm. good. Enjoy your dinner when you eat it. Thank you, teacher. Thank, Thank you, you, Ingrid. Maria, what about you? What were you doing before the class? I was working afternoon visit clients. Visiting clients? Vis visiting clients, uh-huh. Okay, okay. No sé cómo se pronuncia clientes. Clients, clients. Clients. Así, clients. Clients. Okay. What about you, Ale? What were you doing before the class? I was writing WhatsApp message with my dad. Your what? You, oh, your dad. Your dad. Yes. Okay, okay. Uh, just a little correction, Ale. Write is this with your hand. In a phone is text. Okay. okay. Text. I was texting my dad. You can say texting. I was yes. I was texting my dad on WhatsApp. That's what you can say. On. Hey, gracias. Sorry. Thank on. you, teacher. On. Okay. What about you, Walter? What were you doing before the class? And um, before the class, I was playing the piano. Uh, after. And I was practicing uh, the simple pass because oh. I had many difficult some words in the platform. <laughs> okay, okay, good. Thank you. Uh, let's go with the next question. And let's see, this question goes for Catherine Arbaiza. Tell us, what were you chatting about with your friends the last time you talked to them? <laughs> okay, what were you chatting about chatting the chatear? What were you chatting about with your friends the last time you talked to them? What was the last thing you talked to your friends? What do you talk about? No, no entendí. Oh, my God. No hizo la tarea, ¿verdad? Ya la vi, no, ya no la hizo. Uh, Ale, tell me. ¿De qué están hablando? Cuando están chateando. Ajá, uh -huh. Ale, tell me. I was talking uh -huh. to my friend about the time I should arrive at her wedding next Saturday. Oh, okay. Interesting. At uh, what time is the wedding, Ale? Four o'clock. Four o'clock. Are yes. you a bridesmaid? Es la civil. No, no, no. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Uh -huh. Are you a witness? Va a ser testigo. No. Yes. Oh, so yes. witness. But the November 4th? Uh -huh. Is the reli religious the religious the yes. religious wedding? I I I to be. I will be. I will be. Um, dama, you know. Bridesmaid. Bridesmaid. Brides Brides all me. all friends. All friends of uh -huh. the university. Oh really? Uh -huh. We me. we will. You will be bridesmaid from the... Yes. Okay, that's right. That's really nice. Really nice. Lucky you. At least your friends are getting married. In my friends, I have no hope to go to a wedding anytime soon. Nobody's getting married. Okay, Uh, let's see. What about you, Catherine? What were you chatting uh, with your friends about? Catherine Elizabeth. Um, 
we were chatting about our life and how we were doing in college and how we were doing in life. Okay, okay. In your case, Ismael, what were you chatting about with your friends the last time you talked to them? I was talking about going to play soccer or play basketball. Okay. Before okay. before going to the beach. To the beach. Going to the beach. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Very good. And let's see. Let's go with the last question. Um, what was your mother doing? The last time you saw her, um, Walter, what was your mom doing the last time you saw her? Uh, she was baking um, semita while I was uh, listening to music. Listening to music. Listening, sorry, listening. Okay. Listening to music. <laughs> what about your mom, um, Catherine Elizabeth? What was your mom doing the last time you saw her? She was cooking the dinner for us, okay. and she also was watching TV, her favorite soup opera. Soap opera. Soap, Soap opera. opera. Okay. What about your mom, um, Ali? What was your mom doing the last time you saw her? My mom was watching a boring soap opera, too. <laughs> a turkish soap opera yes oh okay she she loves soap operas yeah yeah those i don't know what the soap operas have that it actually entertains them a lot like a lot so well catherine you watch turkish some soap, soap operas right uh, catherine yes Elisa, yeah. i think yeah Teacher, i, I love her. Her. <laughs> okay are they yeah. interesting so interesante Yes, me gustan las roman comedy, romantic. Eh, romantic comedy. Romantic ah, comedy. Romantic comedy. Eh, con drama, ¿cómo sería drama? Drama. Drama, drama, drama is drama. Ah, drama. Okay. Are, are you... de drama causan un conflicto en el cerebro y mucho, <laughs> mucho para uno. <laughs> Too much. Okay. Yes. All right. Interesting. Okay, very good. So thank you guys. Thank you for uh, participating. Now let's officially start with today's topic. Uh, do you see my screen? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, amazing. Now, uh, we're going to start with a little conversation game, okay? These are questions about what you did the last weekend, okay? Let's spin. The first question goes for Ismael. Eh, Ismael, did you do the shopping last weekend? Uh, I... No. <laughs> no. I no, I didn't. I, I no, I didn't. Okay, sure answer. No, I didn't repeat no i didn't no i didn't okay no, I didn't. okay very good so let's go to the next one thank you smile and the next one goes to a uh, walter okay did you go out last weekend where did you go or what did you do last weekend walter uh, i did go to timon Mm -hmm. Um, I did buy uh, some accessories for my computer because I have problems with the memory RAM. So I replaced the memory for a new. Okay, okay, interesting. Very good, Walter. Thank you. Let's go to the next one. And this question goes for Catherine Elizabeth. Let's see what's your question, Catherine. Okay, uh, Catherine, what do you do last Friday? Friday, what do you do last Friday? I, I went at the university and to, all to day. To university. Uh, to university all day and 7 a.m. to 4, 4 p.m. 
and I spend time with my classmate. And I we ate together and I came to my house in the afternoon and oh. take my English class. To my English class. To my English class. Yes. Okay. Just a little comment. When you want to say the hour, for example, when you want to say, eh, estuve en la reunión desde las tres hasta las cinco, for example, ocupamos esto. From, desde, to, hasta, okay? From seven to four, de las ocho, perdón, de las siete a las cuatro. From eight to five, de ocho a cinco, okay? But this is okay. a correct expression. So please take notes about it. I'm going to put it here in the Zoom chat. And thank you, Elisa, very good job. Let's go with the next one. And this question goes for Mr. Carlos Lucero. Let's see, what's your question, Carlos? Um, okay, did you practice any sport last weekend? Mr. Carlos? Um, um... I practice um, basketball. Okay, you play a lot um, of basketball, right? Uh, I love you. Uh, I love you. Uh, I love basketball. I love this sport. Okay. I love this sport. For me, there is important because the and um, and and I help. I help uh, my. I help and healthy for me healthy. healthy. My health. My health. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Thank you, Mr. Carlos. Very good. The next question goes for um Ale. Let's see. Okay. Do you study during the weekend, Ale? Do you do your homework in the platform? Yes, I was study. studying studying uh, during the week weekend. Um yes I I did my homework. Okay, very good. Thank you. Next question goes for Monica Paola. Let's see. Um, did you take some pictures, some photographs during the weekend? And who was in your photos? Um, yes, I love pictures. <laughs> okay, um, where did you take pictures? Um, How do we say alturas, guys? Somebody? Alturas? No? Okay. Alturas. Yeah. Heights, teacher. Height. Heights. Exactly. Height. Height. Uh -huh. Height. The pronunciation is like this, but the, but the, sorry, the writing is like that, but the pronunciation is heights. Okay, heights. Height. Mm -hmm. In the height. Heights. In the height, yes. Okay. Where did you go? Uh, repeat, please. <laughs> Where did you go in the weekend? Mm, for um for the the job job um, the campo trabajo de campo okay Entonces, work field but where did you go a donde fue oh por eso ah bueno okay específicamente the place. son cantones Oh, un canto un boquero, un oro montique. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Es por lo mismo del trabajo. Okay, it's work related. Así lo puede decir. It's work related. O sea que es su work trabajo. Related. Work yes. related. Okay. Okay. Very good. Right. Thank you. Thank you, Pau. Let's eliminate this one and let's go with the next one. 
This one goes for, let's see, uh, Catherine Arbaiza. You have to be, you have to be partying with them. Did you work during the weekend, Catherine? Uh, no, I, I didn't. I went to the university all day. Okay, okay, very good, excellent. Let's go with the next one. This one goes for Eder. Okay, Eder. Uh, okay, tell us, what was the best moment of your weekend? Mm, the best moment uh, was uh, when I, I don't know, when I complete, I complete, completed or complete? Completed, when I completed. When I completed. My best moment where it was, com I completed the exercise in platform. Okay. <laughs> okay, so you worked a lot in the platform this weekend. Okay. Okay, thank you, Heather. Very good. Let's go with the next question. This one goes for Ingrid. Let's see what's your question, Ingrid. Uh, okay, Ingrid, tell us, what do you do on Saturday? Well, on Saturday, I work, I worked um, almost all day on the platform. Oh, really? <laughs> Yes, because I, I, I don't, I didn't, no tenía. I didn't have. I didn't have completely, completely. Uh, you need three and four. Oh, okay. Lo que quiere mm -hmm. decir es no había completado. Yes. Okay. Se lo voy a poner en el chat, pero eso ya después lo van a ver como, como ese tiempo. I hadn't completed the platform, for example. I hadn't completed the platform, así se dice. No había completado la plataforma, okay? Uh, okay, sure. Okay, so everybody worked in the platform the weekend. Excellent. Uh, thank you, Ingrid. Let's go with Maria. Okay, Maria, this question goes for you. Tell us, Maria, what food did you prepare during the weekend? I prepare um uh I lunch uh chicken. Chicken, uh huh. Chicken with with potatoes. 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 Uh huh. Uh -huh. And okay. pudding. All right. Very good. <laughs> Very good. Excellent, Maria. Thank you. Okay. Let's see, the next question goes for Ismael. Ya participó Ismael, no, ¿verdad? No. Uh, no, okay. Yes. Ya, ya pasó. Uh, Ahorita, en esa pregunta. Number five, uh, number... Really? Number one, yes. <laughs> ah, ok, so I'm sorry. De los que están con la cámara apagada, ¿quién puede participar? Nobody? Uh, okay. Oh, Brian. Okay, Brian. Uh, tell me, Brian, did you watch episodes or a series? And tell me about that episode. Or I don't know if you watched a movie or something. Yes. Uh, yesterday, I I did watching uh, Flash. Flash in HBO? Uh -huh. Yes. Oh, okay. And what what is the series about, or what was the series about? Uh, no. Come on. How do you say fue? It was. Ah, uh, uh, was a series. It was a series. It was a movie. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, and what was, was the movie, movie about? Flash. No, no, no. In, 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 in. But what was the movie? De que trató la película? Ah, sorry. Um, how do you say trató? <laughs> right, try it. 
Sorry? Uh, how do you say trató en inglés, teacher? It was about. Ah. It, it was, was. It was about, and you start telling. It was about it was, a superhero. He. So blah, blah, blah. It was about uh, superheroes, the Justice League. And. Flash, uh, uh, he's did the mom. Uh huh. And uh, how do you say recuperar? I'm sorry. <laughs> recovered. He recovered. He recovered. Uh, her her mom. Okay. And. Um, and he travel in the time. Don't be nervous. Don't be nervous. Aquí está en confianza. Okay. Uh, it's a grand problem. <laughs> All right, there was a big problem. There was a big problem. That's how you can say it. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much, Brian, for participating. And now, guys, let's go into officially the topic that we have for today. Today, guys, we're going to talk about something that is called future in the past. Uy, teacher, y eso que es, como se come. It's really simple, guys, very, very simple. Uh, the future in the past is used to express an idea in the past about something you thought it was going to happen in the future. It doesn't matter if you're correct or not. It says the future in the past can be used with the form would or was or were going to. There are two forms to say it, okay? Basically, the meaning is almost the same, all right? But this is something important that you identify. This is like an action that was going to happen, algo que iba a pasar, pero que al final quizás no pasó por alguna razón, okay? That's the future in the past. Let me show you a little bit of the structure so you can understand. This is the way we use it with would. We have would plus the verb. And look at this. It says, I knew you would help him, help him. This is in past, I knew. Yo sabía que lo ayudarías. I knew you would help him. We said we would organize the party. Dijimos que organizaríamos la fiesta. Okay, this is what would. I knew Julie would prepare the dinner. Sabía que Julie prepararía la cena. He promised he would send a postcard from Egypt. Él prometió que enviaría una postcard from Egipto. Okay? Um, this is one of the formulas. This is the first way we use the future in the past. ¿Se entienden los ejemplos o se entiende cómo se usa en el primer escenario? Usando el word y el verbo. Yeah. Yes, sure. I have a question about this. Uh -huh. eh, en este caso, básicamente sería hacer oraciones de algo que sucedió pero en el pasado. O que va a suceder pero en un tiempo pasado. Um, basically, yes. Porque si se fija, por ejemplo, en la número uno tenemos I knew you would help. Yo sabía. Sabía está en pasado. Básicamente, este resultado que lo ayudarías. O sea, sí, es algo que pasó. Ok. We said we would organize the party. Dijimos que organizaríamos la fiesta. I knew Julie would prepare the dinner. Yo sabía que ella prepararía la cena. So we're talking about maybe actions in the past. Pero no es necesariamente una completed action, como es generalmente con el simple past. Sino que si te fijan, es como algo hasta cierto punto hipotético, pero siempre en el pasado. No sé si 
¿Me voy a entender, Walter? Sí, solo lo único, o sea que al final no importa si se completó o no la acción, sino que es una acción que sucedí, sucedió en el pasado, pero, eh, ajá, que pudo haber sucedido o no. Uh -huh. Exactly. Ah, okay. It doesn't really matter if it happens or not. Okay. Básicamente, guys, usar el would más un verbo base da esas terminaciones de ia, eh, comería, terminaría, haría, etc. ¿Ok? Cuando usamos el would y un verbo base. Would help, ayudaría. Would organize, organizaría. Would prepare, prepararía. Would send, enviaría. Ese ia es el would plus un verbo en forma base. ¿Ok? okay. Thank you, Is this clear? Ok, my pleasure. Is this clear? It's Esta clear. forma se entiende. Ok. Very yes, good. Thank you. Now let's go to the second one. Que creo que esta ustedes sí que la ocupan en presente. Perdón, en Spanish. Y no tienen ni idea quizá de cómo se dice en past. Ok. Esta forma es was, where, plus going to, plus the verb. Ok. Vaya, para que me entiendan. Básicamente esto es decir el iba. Ejemplo, yo iba a salir, pero empezó a llover. Algo que iba a hacer, pero no se concretó. Yo iba a comer mi cena, pero mi perro la comió. O sea, algo que iba a pasar en pasado, pero que al final no se concretó. And we have the example here. I knew you were going to go to the party. Yo sabía que ibas a ir a la fiesta. I told you he was going to come to the party. Te dije que él iba a venir. I had a feeling that the vacation was going to be a disaster. This is like a little bit different, but we can use this expression too. I had a feeling. Tengo the vacation, uh -huh, tengo el present, tenía, tenía, I had perdón, el presentimiento que la vacación iba a ser un desastre. And the last one we have here, Jens. Jane said Sam was going to bring his sister eh, with him, but he came alone. Jane dijo que Sam iba a traer a su hermana con él, pero vino solo. Okay? Con el future in the past, no necesariamente estamos hablando de una acción que se iba a completar y no se completó. Porque si vemos las primeras dos oraciones, ¿qué dice? I knew you were going to come to the party. ¿Ves? Sabía que ibas a venir. I told you he was going to come to the party. Yo te dije que él iba a venir. That's the future in the past. Ese iba. Iba. Yo iba. Él iba. Nosotros íbamos. Se refiere a una acción que en algún pasado, pues se planeó. He was planned. Y que o se completó o no se completó. Like the other. ¿Ok? And, ¿cómo vamos a usar el was y el where? Así como lo aprendimos ayer con el past continuous. I was, she was, he was. Uh, they wear and you wear and we wear. Así, lo mismo. Igual a como lo aprendimos ayer. Ok. Eh, very good. Do you have questions about this? Is it clear for everybody? O eso no es de claro. Este del, del IVA. Mm. De siempre va a ir junto el was y el work on going to be. Siempre, siempre. Así, siempre. Así juntito, juntito. Yes, always. Was or where, going to and the verb. Si se fijan en el verb, siempre va base form. Nunca en pasado, nunca en ing. Ok, always base form. Justo lo que ven aquí. Was, where, going to and the verb. Mm -hmm. eh, what is your job, mailing? ¿Qué es lo que no entiendo? Más o menos lo entiendo. Ok, ¿y qué es lo que no entiendo? No le escucho, Mailing. Y digamos que así, de, cuando uno dice como I knew, allí se, se, uno como que sabe que ahí hay un qué, ¿verdad? Un qué invisible que no se ve. Ah, así sí. como en el primero, I Tácito. knew. Ajá. Estácito. Yeah. Estácito. Exactly. I knew. You can say, I knew you were going to come, or you can say, I knew that you were going to come. Las dos formas están bien. 
Pero sí, como dice Catherine, it's the tacit. It's tacit. We don't see it, but we know that it's there. Um, okay, guys, quiero saber si de esto hay algo que no está claro. For example, in Spanish, ¿cuántas veces nosotros decimos? Por ejemplo, hoy llovió, hoy llovió. Y uno tenía en la cabeza, mm, en la mañana, ok, voy a ir al supermercado. Y empezó a llover, entonces, ¿qué decimos? Ah, yo iba a yo ir iría al mercado. Al supermercado. Yo iba a ir al supermercado, pero como empezó a llover, ya no fui. Entonces, aquí ese iba, yo iba a, es esto, el was or where, con el going to y el verb. Mm -hmm. I was going to go to the I supermarket. Was. Yo iba a ir al supermarket. But it started to rain. Pero I empezó a llover. Yes? Mm -hmm. um, like, um, I was about to go out when I received a call. Mm -hmm. It's similar. It's similar. But mm -hmm. ese was about es como decir, yo estoy, eh, yo estaba a punto de. Punto de salir. Uh -huh. Estaba a punto de salir, pero recibí una llamada. Yes. It's basically almost the same, pero tienen uh -huh. diferentes translations in, in Spanish. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, thank you, Ingrid. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Um, any other questions that you have about this? No? No question for me. No, be sure. No. Okay. Okay. Let's do something really quick. Con este, creo que este es el que más les ha costado, porque este creo que a todo le quedó, a todo le quedó, claro. Mm -hmm. Vaya, with this one, with this form, el was or where, and the going to, and the verb, let's do something. I want you to uh, create five, five sentences, solo cinco, pero pónganle mm -hmm. la translation in Spanish. Pongan la sentence in English y pónganle cómo se traduce a Spanish, ¿ok? Yo creo que así la van a entender mejor, ¿ok? I'm going to put you in groups. Please, everybody, let's work in the activity. If we don't practice, remember that we don't learn. Okay. I'm going to create the groups and let's work. Just five sentences. Ya le voy a mandar la form a WhatsApp. Pero pongan la forma en inglés, English, and the translation in Spanish, please. Okay.
teacher. Yes, tell me. En este caso, uh, por ejemplo, podría aplicar el yo estaba comiendo pizza, pero se me cayó, por ejemplo. Mm, no, porque no es eso la traducción. Mm. No. Eso es lo que estábamos viendo ayer. I was eating pizza, but I dropped it. Ese es el past continuous. Eso es diferente. Es que me confunde el futuro en pasado. <risas> Vaya, eso es como que usted diga, yo iba a comer pizza, pero eh, se me cayó. Ahí sí sería bien. I was going to eat pizza, but I dropped it. Sería como haber proyectado algo, pero que fue interrumpido por alguna situación. Que no se completó. Ya, yeah, similar. Oh, ok. Ok. Brian, eh, Brian are you participating? Um, yo tengo una pregunta. Uh -huh. No sé si está correcto mi ejemplo. Uh -huh. Se lo voy a decir. Ok. I watch TV. You... He was going to come the home. ¿Qué quiere decir? Como que yo estaba viendo la, la tele mientras tú venías, algo así. O como... No, pero eso no es el future in the past. No. Eso es lo que estábamos viendo ayer. I was watching TV when uh -huh. you came home. Uh -huh. Eso sería lo que se está diciendo. Eso es el future in the oh. past. Yo iba a... Okay, lo que puede decir es uh -huh. yo iba a ver televisión pero tú me visitaste. I was going to oh. watch TV, but you visited me. That's what you can say. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay. Pero tiene que ser was. Was. No, sí. tiene, puede llevar mm. where, mm. como es we. Sí, es como ah. el ejemplo. Es, que es, siga, a ver qué quiere formular. Vaya, usted dice where. Ajá. No, Ajá. perdón. We, W, E. ¿Así? Ajá. Where. We. Ajá, we, where. We, where. Ajá. Going to. Y al principio también, está bien, lo está viendo, María. Sí, 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 ajá. Vaya, siga, dígame. Uh -huh. Going to go to go to a no a, go, going to going to go mm -hmm. teo a consul Teacher, ¿y solo la íbamos a traducir o qué íbamos a hacer? Five sentences using the future in the past and the translation of those sentences. O sea, las oh. cinco oraciones en inglés y en Spanish. Oh, ok. Yo tengo dos, ya hice dos. No sé los demás. Yo tengo ahorita dos. Yo, sí. yo también Ajá. tengo dos. Yo también tengo dos. Bueno. Voy a terminar la segunda. Ok.
To go to the beach. Sí, but they have to work. Ellos iban a ir a la playa, pero tienen que trabajar. Teacher, I have a question. Yes, Catherine. Estaría bien si digo, I was going to have coffee, but it was hot. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's good. But instead of have, uh, we recommend you to use drink. I was going to drink. Because have is more for food. Ah, okay. Thank you. La diferencia, entonces. I mean, it's not like you cannot use it, but it's more common to use it like for food than for uh, drinks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. She was going to room. ¿Y es necesario completar la oración o solo lo que se iba a hacer? Porque aquí se aplica el going to y el was y were. No Por ejemplo, decir um, ella iba a correr y el complemento sería pero um, se golpeó, por ejemplo. Uh, ¿Es necesario o solo quedaría como ella iba a correr nada más? Eso sí, no, no le escucha la teacher. ¿Teacher? Yes, tell me. Eh... Y vamos a escribir también a completarla. ¿Verdad que no? Solo oraciones simples. Pero... Eh, the sentences, like doing the sentences y the translation in Spanish. Eso es lo que quería que hiciera. Ah, sí, sí. Entonces uh -huh. está bien. Thank okay. you. Ok. Ok. Did you finish? Oh, no, no. Uh, ok. Ok. Just finish that one, please. Ok. Ok. Sí, sí, sí. Va, ahí está la Miss. Preguntémosle. Eh, miss. Yes, tell me. I have a question. Eh, uh -huh. Con los compañeros aquí eh, tenemos como una pequeña duda. Lo de la coma, cuando digamos, por ejemplo, aquí ya está traducido un solo al español que dice, yo sabía, se puede poner una coma y luego empezamos a decir la otra oración, pero ya escrita al inglés. Eh, la, the question is about the Spanish sentence. No, o sea, la pregunta es la coma, si le puede poner la coma. Ajá, es... uh, no, no, a, a, digamos igual que a, dice I told you, coma, y luego I was to the finish the homework. I told you I was going to finish the homework. Es que acuérdense que la coma es como para separar complete ideas. I, I wouldn't use the coma, to be honest. Yo no la creo necesaria. Ah, ok. Yeah, I told you I was going to finish the homework. Ok, ok. Pero en bat sí, ¿verdad? ¿Dónde está bat? Oh, Antes bat. Antes de bat. Ah, ya, ya, ya. Ya, yeah, oh, okay. bat is, uh, oh my God, ¿cómo se llaman estos? Conjunction, yeah, conjunction. And before a conjunction, you have to use a coma. Así okay, que en este caso sí. Ok, mistake. Mm -hmm. Ok, do you finish? Yes, right? Yes, yes. teacher. Ok, so let's close the rooms and let's go back, please. Okay, how was the activity, guys? Se le entendió mejor el tema. 
haciendo los ejercicios. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Better? Okay. Um, <laughs> well, let's wait for the rest. Um, very good, very good. Okay. So the first group I have, oh no, 10 seconds. Okay. All right. Now we're complete. So give me one second, I'm gonna take the screenshot. What? I'm taking the screenshot. Okay. Eh, nosotros ponemos de dos en dos cada uno. Voy a hacer las mías y después mis compañeros. Eh, ya voy con su grupo. Voy a ir en orden. Ah, ok. Ok. okay. Uh, all right. The first group, I have Erika, Monica, Tati, and Frank. Are you ready, guys? Monica, Paola, teacher. Eh, yes. Monica, Paola, yes. Yo creo que hizo falta también un compañero. Eh, Monica, Erika, Tatiana, and Frank. Who was with Monica? Oh, Brian. Brian, right? Uh -huh. Okay. All right. So are you ready? Please share your, your sentences. Si gusta, le menciono las tres que yo tengo anotadas. Okay. You can say your three sentences. No tiene las otras. Okay. Um, I was going to play with my best friend. Um, she was going to room. Okay. In the next, what is the translation uh, of that sentence? En la, the first is um, iba a jugar con mi mejor amiga. Uh huh. The second uh, iba a correr. Ah, okay, okay. The third, uh -huh. number three, is we were going to a meet. A meet. Yeah. O a meeting. Lo tomamos como meet porque como es el verbo en su forma base, no sé si está correcto. Pero es que está diciendo to a meet. We were going to a meet. Sería sin la A. We were going to meet. Yes. Ok, ok. Y la traducción sería íbamos a una reunión. Ok. Meet es el verbo. Ok. Meet es okay. conocerse o encontrarse. Reunión es meeting. So oh, we are okay. going to go to a meeting. That will be the correct form. Let me put it here. And we were going to go to a meeting. We were going to go to a meeting. To go to a, así sería. Hey, Brian, your sentences? Okay. okay. I was going to wash the dishes. Yo iba a lavar los trastes. Hmm? You were going to play piano. Mm -hmm. Ustedes iban a tocar el piano. Uh, you were. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Sí, Very good. Thank you. Now let's go with Javier, Maria, Meili, uh, Jonathan, and Alex Group. Okay, let's see. I was going to buy shoes. I was going to travel, but I canceled the trip. I knew we were going to go to a consultation. I was going to go to the university, después del tour le falta te. The university, but it started to rain. I told you I was going to finish the homework. Okay, very good. Excellent team. Excellent. Thank you, Ale. Now I go with Belly, Joanna, Milton, Natalie, Douglas, and Rodrigo's group. Okay. 
creo que nosotros las hicimos por separado, teachers. Pero Okay. empiezo yo con Yes. las mías. Okay. I knew you were coming for me. Sabía que ibas a venir por mí. I Okay. knew you were go going to wait for me. Sabía que me ibas a esperar. I knew you were going to call me. Sabía que ibas a llamarme. I told you sister wasn't angry at you. Te dije que tu hermana no estaba enojada contigo. And my mom told me my brother was going to my graduation. Mi mamá me dijo que mi hermano iría a mi graduación. Okay, okay, good, Natalie. Uh, Belly, do you have your sentences? Yes, teacher. Go ahead. He knew she wasn't coming to the dinner. She said you were going to play. Maria and Julia said they weren't going to bake, but they were going to buy a dessert. You were going to play, but I knew you weren't coming because it's raining and I knew you came for me. I knew You, you it come what? to me. You came for me. Yes. Okay. Okay, good. Uh, somebody else from the group? Eh, creo que falto yo. Okay. Gomington? Eh, ok, sería... Eh, they were going to go to the beach, but, uh, you know, tell me. But the what? Eh, I'm sorry? sería, iban a ir a la playa, pero no me invitaron, no me llevaron. They didn't take me. They didn't take me. Didn't take me. Yes, they didn't take me. Take me. Okay, next one. He was going to go with his, his sister, but the didn't let him. Él iba a ir con su hermana, pero no lo dejaron. Okay. Uh, I I was going to a study, but I, I got sleepy. Yo iba a estudiar, pero me dio sueño. I was sleepy, uh huh? I was going to work, uh, but it's raining. Iba a ir a trabajar, pero está lloviendo. Uh -huh. uh, I was going to play, but the didn't invite me. Yo iba a ir a jugar, pero no me invitaron. But I wasn't invited. Sure. I wasn't, but I wasn't invited. Invited. Eso que dijo. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, excellent, Milton. Thank you. Uh, somebody else from the group or the tip? Okay. Now it's time for Mr. Carlos, Walter, Ismael, Dalila, and Catherine Arbaiza's group. Okay. Ahí lo dividimos entre dos y dos. Yo Okay. voy a hacer las primeras dos y de ahí le siguen mis compañeros. Okay. Eh, I told you, uh, I knew was going to dance in the park, in the party. I told you he was going to play basketball. De ahí siguen mis compañeros. Okay. Uh, teacher, uh, I was going to play video games, but I remembered that I had homework. Yo iba a jugar videojuegos, pero recordé que tenía tarea. Okay. Eh, he knew you were going to talk about this. Él sabía que tú ibas a hablar de esto o sobre esto. Okay. Eh, yo tengo tres. My dad was going to come with my grandmother yesterday, but he came alone. Mi papá iba a venir con mi abuela ayer, pero vino solo. I was, I was going to go shopping with my best friend, but we didn't because it was raining. Eh, íbamos, iba a ir a comprar con mi, amiga, mi mejor amiga, pero no pudimos porque estaba lloviendo. Y I told you I was going to have classes on Wednesday. Eh, te dije que iba a tener clases el miércoles. Ok, ok, good, very good team, thank you. Uh, let's see, the last one, I have Ingrid, Sadie, Ever, Catherine, the other Catherine, and Rina. Teacher, uh, Mejía faltó. Teacher yeah. faltó Ismael. Oh, falt oh, yeah. oh, sorry, sorry, Ismael. Ismael. Go ahead, I'm sorry. We planned uh, to go to dinner, but it was rain. Okay. I teacher, get it. Look at yes. 
in the question para decir eh, eh, pero no pude ¿cómo, cómo se puede decir? I How do you say? Pero couldn't. no pude. But I couldn't. Ah, es el, el could, o sea, el can en pasado. Ajá, But okay. I couldn't. I'm, could. I'm going to put it in the chat. Okay. I Thank couldn't. You. Thank you, okay. teacher. Okay, my pleasure. Isma, um, can you repeat your sentence, please? We plan to go to dinner. Mm -hmm. But it was fine. Okay. Lo que está diciendo ahí es, planeamos ir a la cena, pero estaba lloviendo. Yeah. El IVA no lo usó. Ah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Second example. Go with your next example. My friends were in the park playing soccer. My friends were in the park playing soccer. Yeah. That's past continuous. Mis amigos estaban en el parque jugando. Okay? Yes. All right. So let's work a little bit more in the future, please. Bueno, en este ah. temita, please. Um, ah, okay. Now the next group. We see Ingrid, Sadie, Eda, Catherine, and Rina. Okay. Uh, my mother was going to cook the dinner for us. But we went out to a restaurant. Okay. And uh -huh. I was going to I was going to go to the cinema, but I couldn't. Okay. Okay. Yes. That's it. Who's next? <laughs> Who's the next one? Mm. Eh, okay. I I knew he was going to go to the game. Sabía okay. que él iba a ir a juego. Okay. I was going to go to work when I fell. Iba a ir a trabajar cuando me caí. Uh-huh. Uh, she was going to go to the beauty salon, but it started to rain. Very good. That's it. Very good, Ingrid. Excellent. Rina, your turn. I was going to train, but it is training rain. Yo iba a entrenar, pero empezó a llover. Okay. Uh, they were going to go to the beach, but they have to work. Ellos iban a ir a la playa, pero empezó a pero tenían que trabajar. Okay. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Very good, guys. Thank you. Um, let me go back to the presentation. All right, we have a little quiz about future in the past. For this one, guys, you have to be fast, all right? Because this one has time. You will see the sentence here and you will tell me if it's right or wrong. I read that the workshops were gonna open for 24 hours, right or wrong? Wrong. I just wrong. Fue. Bye. Next one. Uh, I knew the manager was making me a good offer, right or wrong? Right. 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 Okay, very good. Um, the owner said that she would take in care of the clients? Right. 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 No, right. Wrong. no, wrong. She was nervous because she would going to have an exam? Wrong. Right. She would wrong. go and se le fue. Oh my God, guys, I told you, this is fast. My brother said he would come, but my niece got sick. Right, right. right. Okay. Uh, next one. They told me that they would ask me for the bill, but they didn't. Wrong, right? Wrong, uh, right? Uh, no, hold on. Right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> to play another one because this one is too fast for you. Uh, let me see. Or this one. Oh, okay. This one is easier. Okay. So here we're going to put right and here wrong. Number one. She was nervous because she would going to have an exam that afternoon. Right or wrong? Right. Right. Wrong. right. Wrong. She would going. Wrong. 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 
I read that the workshops were going right. to, well, este gonna is la, el slang or the informal way of going, going to, to, okay? And Así que going. this will be good. I read that the workshops were gonna to be open for 24 hours. Right. 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 right? Okay. Right. I knew the manager was making me a good offer. Right. 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 Okay. right. Right. They told me that they would ask for the bill, but they didn't. Wrong. Wrong or right? Right. 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 Are you sure? Okay. They were packing their suitcases as they would leaving for a holiday. They would leaving for a holiday. Wrong. 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 Okay. Wrong. He said he had been leaving for Spain to start a new life. Right. 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 Are you sure? Este he y la di is a contraction or he would. It's wrong. Would. Uh. So right or wrong? Wrong. Wrong. Uh, wrong. wrong. Okay. She were going to call last night, but she forgot. Wrong. 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 Okay. The owner said that she would taking care of the other clients. Right. Right. She would taking care. Are there any um, wrong? Wrong. 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 Okay. Wrong. Uh -huh. The businessman said that he was going to invest in the international trade next year. Right. Wrong. Right. right. Okay. Right. My brother said he would come, but Wrong. my niece got sick. <clears throat> my brother said he would come, right. but right. my niece got sick. Uh -huh. Okay. Right. Mary said she telling me a secret, but she did it. Wrong. Wrong. Okay. Wrong. Wrong. And the last ones. Workers were to be here at seven, but they went on strike and never showed up. Wrong. 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 Wrong? Okay. Right. Wrong. Do you know what is a strike? This word? Strike? Esta palabra? Strike? They went on strike. Eso es como irse a huelga. Okay, they went right. Okay. All right, let's submit the answers and let's see. Uh, these ones were wrong, apparently. Eso fue el gonna too. And that was what's correct. Okay, guys. So let's go with the speaking activity now. In this speaking activity, guys, you gotta be creative, okay? Because it says you will be given a different different scenarios in which you have to create a short role play with excuses using future in the past. O sea, tiene que crearme un mini drama, okay? Una mini conversation. Y le voy a dar cuatro escenarios. Ustedes escogen cuál, okay? The first scenario is doing the dishes. Y póngase con su grupo en una situación donde alguien iba a hacer los trastes y no lo iba a lavar sobre los trastes y no lo hizo. For some reason, y pueden inventar hasta una pelea. I don't, it's up to you. It's about you being creative. Uh, picking up the kids from school. This is the second scenario. Usted le dijo a alguien que fuera a recoger los niños y se le olvidó a recoger al niño. That you are very mad with that person. That's another scenario. Then is scenario number three. Paying the monthly bills. Paying, I don't know, electricity, water, etc. Imagine that you said to a person, hey, I need you to pay the bills. Y se le olvidó a la persona pagar los recibos y se gastó el dinero on top of that. So, imagine, create that role play. And the last one is preparing the dinner. Digamos que usted le dejó encargo a alguien que le hiciera la cena y esa persona no pudo por X razón. Ahí vamos a usar entonces el future in the past, que es lo que practicamos hoy, ¿ok? So, I'm going to send the scenarios to WhatsApp. Ustedes escogen cuál escenario, ¿ok? And I'm going to make groups of three people, all right? Three people. Let me see. Three to four. Ok. Three people. You choose the scenario. I want the conversation. Escuchan bien. Crear una conversación, un mini role play, un mini drama, donde... 
ocupen eso del future in the past, lo que aprendimos, okay? So, I'm gonna create the rooms. Let's open them. And let's practice the last minutes of the class, please. Oops.
Are you alone, Ingrid? No, teacher. I, I was with Milton. Oh, okay. I was, uh -huh. Are uh, you working? Yeah, in... un poquito confundidos. <laughs> ah, what's the question? Um, estamos preparando algo así. Para, elegimos para en the dinner. Uh -huh. Pero, este, o sea, usted lo que quiere es que contemos así como una historia o inventemos una historia. Sí, o sea, crear como un, un role play, alguna conversation. ¿Cuál es el, el prepare the dinner? ¿Ese escogieron? Ajá, sí. Ok, vaya. Imagine that. Y... Vaya, póngale que Milton, usted le dice a Milton. Vaya, Milton, your assignment or your task is to prepare the dinner. Y Milton le dice, ok, I will. Y luego usted regresa a la casa, pasa el día y no encuentra la cena. Hey, Milton, what happened with the dinner? Oh, I'm mm -hmm. sorry. I was going to cook, but um, my friends told me to play to go to play soccer, or something like that. You say, oh, but how is it possible? I told you to prepare the dinner. Y no sé, a su creatividad. Pero usando siempre tratemos de usar el el future in the past. En al menos en alguna. Vaya, escuche lo que vaya. tengo. I was going to, to go pay the bills and I had to prepare dinner, but I asked my daughter if she could prepare dinner, but she told me she couldn't because she had to go out with her friends. That's good. Esa es una historia, and that's good. Pero mm -hmm. lo que quiero es que todos participen, o sea, que sea como una, una especie de, no sé, dramatización, something like that. Ah, ok. Ok. All right. Ah, um, okay. Vamos a volver ya al grupo because it's time, it's late, so creo que lo voy a dejar de tarea para mañana. All right. So let's close the, the groups. Ok, teacher. Thank you. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, it's almost time to finish. So let's see. I'm gonna wait for everybody to come back so I can give instructions. I know you didn't finish. Alguien terminó or no? I think you did. Oh. All right. No, okay. Teacher. I know. Teacher. Okay. So um, we will we will do this as an assignment for tomorrow. Okay. Van a tener mañana todo el día para ponerse de acuerdo con con quien lo voy a poner para hacer el el role play. Esto, guys, es como como por eso les decía, como una dramatización, like a conversation with three people, ok, una conversación entre tres personas en la que apliquen esto que aprendimos hoy, por eso les ponía esos escenarios, bueno, pongamos que, por, por decir algo, el no, de Eden y en ok, let's imagine that they are together, y ellos escogieron el de paying the bills, eh, Eder le dice a Tati, hey Tati, I need no, you to pay the paper. I need you to pay the bills because I don't have money. And Tati says, oh yes, I will pay uh, the bills. Uh, 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 Then the due date comes. Ya se venció el, el recibo y le está cayendo notificación de que no pago los recibos. And then Eder tells Tati, hey Tati, what happened? I told you to pay the bills. Oh, I'm sorry. I was going to pay the bills. But the app from the bank was down, for example, que se le había caído la app del banco. And I couldn't and I forgot it. Oh my God, Tati, what are we going to do now? Y luego ahí entra eh, Rina, por ejemplo. Let's talk to Rina, maybe she can help us. Then you go to Rina, Rina, can you pay the bills? Tati was going to pay the bills, but she couldn't because the app from the bank was down. Algo así es lo que quiero que haga, si se entiende. Yes. 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 So, ¿qué van a hacer? Se van a poner de acuerdo ahí con Estamos ese acuerdo en WhatsApp. Ya lo creo otra vez. Lo vuelve a crear. Ahí les mandé los grupos a WhatsApp. 
create a WhatsApp group o contáctense entre ustedes and just create the role play. Lo que quiero nada más es que usen el future in the past, así como lo hicimos hoy. Ok, that's all I want. Usted póngale todo el sazón que quiera, su role play, si lo quiere hacer de que se, se pelean, que se yo, it's up to you. It's be creative, ok, be creative. Eh, this is for tomorrow, ok. Así que, please text your classmates, pónganse de acuerdo, and I will see you tomorrow, guys. Have a wonderful night. Take care. Okay. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Good night. Bye.